daycares sometimes and parades and things like that. Um, I've been hit up for goat yoga more than I can tell you. <laughs> Don't see how that can be relaxing now. <laughs> But you never know. Um, but we primarily were a show herd, so we, we go to all the fairs. So these goats are really used to traveling and see, being around lots of people. And So the library actually typically does the therapy dogs, um, and a couple of de uh, departments in Student Life have done the dogs as well. Um, but no, one of my colleagues who works in Res Life, Andy Bowen, this is her sister. Um, she was like, oh, my sister has goats, and we're like, we got to bring the goats to campus. So I reached out to Abby and was like, let's bring them. Are you open to it? And yep. she was like, yeah, they're super friendly. Let's do it. And so, yeah, first time, but I think we've already talked about doing it in the future. We've so. got all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah we've got big plans. Big got plans all the ideas, little all the miniature ideas. goats. Well, I didn't think it would be this. I thought we'd get a good crowd, maybe 30, yep. 50, like, yeah, goats, but no. And I, we had to, like, back them up. And so now we know this is a huge hit. So. We need to set up, like, a we'll get bodyguards, I know. men in black. <laughs> need you to bring another truck. Really. <laughs> you know, goats are just one of those animals that, I mean, if someone raises sheep, they love sheep. If you have dogs, you love your dog. Goats are more like a dog than any livestock animal. They come when they're called, they wag their tails when they're happy, they have personalities. Um, they, these ones, some of these are litter box trained, um, little house goats. Um, they're just, they're very charming animals. They're, I, tease, I tease people the breed that I have, they tend to get into things more than any other breed. They're awful little creatures, but I love them. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!